I'm going to die. Oh, I am going to die. What? <laughs> oh, is that Papyrus? Is he going to help us? Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's, another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... friend? Are we gonna kiss? No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. It's too normal. Popular. Prestigious. <laughs> That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. I don't remember. I, I, I think he's got, I think he's had like eight voices since. Papyrus blocks the way. We can either flirt or insult him. <laughs> Let's flirt. What? For flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make sp I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm not quite bone yet. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. <laughs> Clerk. Oh no. Let's see it later, after I capture you. What is... So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Is there gonna be like one that's white? Are you doing pacifist? I guess. Ow. <laughs> oh, I see. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Flirt. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later. After. Interesting. <laughs> Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ears. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, what do you think of this version of Papyrus' song? It's pretty good. Song's a banger? Yeah, I agree. That's exactly how I met my wife. She beat me up, captured me, and then I made her spaghetti and the rest is history. Alright, listen. You live your best life, okay? The story as old as time. Do we just spare? Is that it? What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, things are getting dicey. Dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ears. Do I keep... I'm gonna spare him again. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh, God, we're going a different way now? I don't like that. Holy moly. Flirt <laughs> again. Too busy fighting to flirt back. I can almost taste my future popularity. No, you can't. Ow, fuck. Oh, the sneaky one. I like that. MTT brand cute juice behind his ear? Dude. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guards. Holy moly, we're so fucking boned. Out. All right, let's heal. <laughs> he won't have the bicycle. Did you ever equip the bandana? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you might be right on that one. Papyrus unparalleled spaghettore.
Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh, bicycle? I don't know. Bi bicycle? Popsicle? Bicycle? I don't know. <laughs> Some MTT brand beauty yogurt? Bro, you need to stop dabbing things behind your ear. Undine will be really proud of me. Yeah, but think what you're doing to your friend. Ow. <laughs> this is good. This game is actually really fun. Papias realizes he doesn't have ears. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Holy moly, bro. <laughs> Papias is rattling his bones. How about I flirt a little bit? Papias is too busy fighting to flirt back. Alright, my brother will. Well, he won't change very much. Doesn't matter, does it? Oh, I took damage. This game's an emotional roller coaster for real. Don't don't say that to me. It's trying really hard. It's trying hard to play it cool. I'll have lots of admirers, but ow. Okay, well, I suck at this game. That's what I've learned today. Vice is rattling his bones. Unicycle. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? No. No one will ever like you the way I do. Oh, we. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus. Bias is considering his options. How about I flare again? Still too busy fighting, huh? Someone like you is really rare. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, my God. Jesus. It doesn't look like much, okay? I, listen, it doesn't look like much, but good lord, this is it actually pretty fun to play. I almost wish he was doing genocide, but it takes a lot of effort from what I've seen. Taki X Papyrus, what about Patrick? <laughs> it can still be... Here, hear me out, Mins. It can still be pa Pataki. Nah, not on a first playthrough. Is this the way to go, though, for, like, a first playthrough? Is doing, like, no kill? Because I feel like that's probably going to be the best ending, right? It's fair. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh, my bad. Whoa. <laughs> I was it up. Absolutely, it's easier too. Oh, interesting. It's easier. Okay. The virus is preparing a bone attack. After you're captured and sent away. I mean, that's, I feel like that's all you've been doing so far is just preparing bone attacks, bud. I don't want to be rude, but that's kind of what you've been doing. Papaya's just trying hard to play it cool. Ugh, who cares? Give up. No. I'll never give up on you, Papyrus. Ooh. <laughs> oh, leave. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm okay. I'll take that hit. Papyrus is cackling. Can you stop fighting, please? Give up or face my special attack. No. Holy moly. Vice is rattling his bones. Spare. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Can you just use it already, please? I want this fight to be over. You, <laughs> I ain't never gonna stop loving you. Stop loving you. Bitch. bitch. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Oh, I, how did I not get hit by that? That's crazy. I got it. Never mind. <laughs> That's why we bought food, man. This is your last chance before my special attack. Holy moly. These are terrifying. These are so terrifying. His special attack, it is very special. What do you think his special attack is? He's going to fall in love. He's going to give me a kiss. Behold, my special attack. This is a poison dog! What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. You hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <laughs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Ow. That's fine. I'll just hang out. Oh, that's cool. I'll just hang. Oh, well. 
<laughs> Holy, this doesn't feel like a normal attack. <laughs> oh, the bad dog's back. What? Cool. Dude. Is that a bone on a skateboard with sunglasses? Is that a crowd of people? Okay, well, come on now. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I see what you're supposed to do now. Interesting. This doesn't feel... <laughs> okay, I may have parted. That's true. Well, it's clear. You can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now here's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Okay, I'm okay with that. I don't want to fight either. I'm cool with just hanging out. Yo, -ho -ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guards, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. Oh, friend Quantity will remain stagnant. I thought he had a friend named... I thought he had a friend named Quantity. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> you taught me a lot, human. <laughs> I don't know why you're booing me. I'm right. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then... When you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... Undyne? Undyne. Listen. Undyne. <laughs> That's the sound of the sinking Taki X Papyrus love story? Listen. He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer? Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the bear himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have a date and have that date. Yeah. <laughs> He's Toriel's husband? Oh, lord. I thought we were Toriel's husband. <laughs> I don't know I don't, I don't know who he is, but he sucks at names. Still nobody picking up, huh? That's sad. Alright, let's go back and get some food. Because uh, I got my ass kicked. <laughs> Sorry, Papyrus. I'll be back in a moment. Don't worry about me. I'm just a child. I'll be back soon. Wait, are we canonically a kid? Or are we like... A real, like, a regular person. Okay, it turns out I could just use the shop. That's cool. No, that's fine. I like this screen, by the way. I like this screen a lot. Wait, are these more expensive now? Are these more expensive now? I guess not. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll buy your stuff. Listen. I like money. I like spending money. Did we ever equip the... I guess we did. We did. We got... We got. We equipped the manly bandana. We're good. Holy. There were 15? Oh, okay. Okay. A child. I agree. Well, let's go... Let's go have a date with Papyrus, I guess. Let's go see... Let's go see what that's about. At least talk to Papyrus. Library. Library. What's up, man? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. At least I like to spend a lot of time. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, no. What? My house! <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. 
That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. <laughs> Curses. Wow, dude. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Holy moly. Brother always comes at tea, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non egg substance. How absurd. You mean a pie, motherfucker? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? Usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Hit <laughs> me every time I introduce someone to a TV show. Me every single time I introduce someone to a TV show. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Hi, Lemo. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. <laughs> you decide to stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Welcome to the scene of my house. Scenic of my house. Whatever. Enjoy. Take your time. What did he say? Welcome to the scenic my house. Okay. Sure. Is this, is this your room? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? No, not yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? The door is locked. That's Sans' room, and it's on fire, it seems. Alright, let's go into let's go into Papyrus' room. Let's go fulfill the Pataki lore. The Pataki the Pataki uh, universe. Alright, hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? <laughs> Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Is that a race car bed? Whole oh, this guy's got a race car bed? What a fucking winner. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Yo, this is a great room. He's got his action figures. Come on, bro. He definitely fucks, for sure. A great reference to, for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> uh, isn't that flag neato? Undyne? Undyne? I'm gonna go with Undyne. Found it at the bank. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? It's gonna slip off. Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with the Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. Okay. You have a computer, bro? The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and goofy font. Hmm. <laughs> there are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. So, um, if you've seen everything, you want to start a date? Begin the date? Sure. Okay. Dating start. Wait. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an, an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. 
Uh, wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask him on a date. The dog radar. <laughs> Ahem. Wait, it's actually Saturday. Oh no. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. <laughs> I guess that means it's time for part three. Three, excuse me. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Hmm. Wait a second. Wear clothing? A bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Um, sure. Oh my god, he's dead. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. You're dating power. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? <laughs> Turns out this was a dating sim VA all along. Listen, man. <laughs> or VN, rather. If only it was this easy, you could just got to wear clothes. I mean, it's a, it's a large part. <laughs> Knowing when and when not to wear clothes is a large part of dating, for sure. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No. A genuine compliment. <laughs> oh. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Zed? There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. The ball cap? My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah. Well then, you found my secret. <laughs> That's what Taki wears on a daily basis. I wear a shirt that says cool dude. <laughs> I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Is it a brain? Do you know what this is? No idea. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any old plain pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human. It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. It's not pasta, it's an impasta. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No. <laughs> it keeps going up. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it on here or is it just me? <sighs> oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your own intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. 
I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> well, we didn't get smooshed. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. <laughs> you can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's a bummer. We didn't get to kiss the skeleton. Can we go knock on his brother's door? <laughs> Take care, Kazuri. Thanks for uh, thanks for the tips earlier. Thanks for cheering me along. This sink is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. <laughs> Can we find the dog and the bone? Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> Oh, he has unique dialogue for every room you call him in. Oh my goodness! Ring, ring. Snowden, home of papyrus. That's the slogan, right? <laughs> this game is based on a fun factor—a dice roll of a hundred. Depending on what you get, you get different dialogues each playthrough. Interesting. Okay, you can keep going. That's good. Mind the next area now? Wait, we don't get to hang out with Sans very much. Don't tell my girlfriend this, but that's the best date I've ever been on, okay? I'm whispering into the microphone right now because I don't want her. She's in the other room. I want her to hear it. I said that. I love you guys. Stay safe. Homie kisses. I might be in danger after this comes out. Reach out to me. Mwah.